Well, you know we love music on this show and music of all kinds. And if you're a regular viewer of the show, you know that we taught each and every time one of the 13 Strings concerts comes up. We love to highlight it. Uh, their next concert is coming up on May the 14th and they are bringing in um, just an incredible, incredible cellist and soloist to, to join them this time around. I'm joined by Daniel Hammond Go, uh, as I said, cellist, uh, soloist. He's gonna be performing at the upcoming concert. Welcome, Daniel, great to have you here. And um, let's just start Start off with an introduction of yourself, Daniel, for viewers that, that aren't familiar with you. Tell us a little bit about uh, your musical journey. Sure. Hi. Thanks so much for having me, Derek. Um, so my name is Daniel. I play the cello, uh, and uh, I'm currently based here in Toronto, uh, taking part uh, at the Royal Conservatory of Music's uh, Rebanks Family Fellowship. Daniel, what was your introduction to music? So actually, it was quite uh, unique in the sense that, of course, I played piano like every other Asian uh, child growing up. Uh, and it wasn't until middle school that I was introduced to uh, the strings family. And so um, I started off playing viola, um, which is a very much a different instrument than the cello. And after about a year, I went back to my teacher and I said, you know, the viola is not really my instrument. And she said, you know, okay, what would you like to try? So I asked if I could try the cello, and uh, it was love at first sight. And I went back home and I said, Mom and Dad, I think I'm going to be a cellist. <laughs> I love that story. And what, what was it? Like, why did you approach the teacher, and what, what was it about the cello in, in, in particular? Had you seen other people performing, and, and you just sort of fell in love with it? No, actually, <laughs> originally I wanted to play the violin, because okay. when you're young... The violin has all of the pretty melodies and the viola just sounded quite ugly. Now I love the viola. Uh, but when I went to ask the teacher, she said, no, you're too big for the violin. Uh, I'm 6'8 at the moment. Okay. Hopefully I've stopped growing. <laughs> and so then when, she said, when she said no to the violin, I said, okay, well, then can I try the cello? And I had known nothing about it. I've never heard the instrument being performed live. Um, and I just remember putting the instrument on my chest and drawing the, the lowest string. And I like to describe that moment as Harry Potter finding his wand. <laughs> That's a great description. I love it. Let's talk about, you know, studies, because to get to the point where you are right now and, and you, know, you have to, I mean, you have to be one of the best in the world. What have your studies looked like to get to where you are today? Yes, I've been really fortunate and privileged uh, to study in seven cities across five countries. Um, so I finished my high school at the Interlochen Arts Academy in Michigan, uh, my bachelor's in music uh, at the Manhattan School in New York. Uh, then I moved to Berlin, where I was studying at the Hochschule für Musik Hans Eisler. Uh, then I moved to London, England, uh, where wow. I pursued an artist diploma. Uh, then I shortly afterwards, I moved to Belgium at the Queen Elizabeth Music Chapel. And after about 10 years uh, spending abroad and studying and performing, I moved back to Toronto last March. And so I'm doing currently doing the fellowship here. Daniel, the world traveler. I, I love it. That must be, it must have been a pretty special experience. I want to talk about the particular cello that, that you're, my understanding is it's a 17th century cello and, and it's been loaned to you. Is that right, Daniel? That's correct. Um, so long, long time ago, there was a very well-known, probably the most famous teacher of the modern string instrument, uh, the maker of modern string instruments. His name was Amati, and he had three star pupils, one being Stradivarius, which we all know of, uh, the second being Guarneri, and the third being Ruggeri. And so the cello that I'm playing on, which I have here, uh, this is a cello made by Francesco Ruggeri in 1690. Wow. How, so is that common practice, Daniel, that you will, like, that, that a musician such, a, your, such as yourself will be loaned an instrument like that? Yeah, well, for one, these instruments at the moment, uh, they are, they cost in the millions of dollars. Wow. And so I think it'd be very difficult for any musician to own their own. Uh, and so there are a lot of really generous sponsors and collectors uh, who will work with uh, a luthier or work with somebody who's familiar uh, with young artists. Uh, and so in my case, uh, there is uh, 
Rick Heinels uh, at the Heinels uh, shop here in Toronto. And I've known him for about 10 years. And when I visited him uh, August of 2021, he said, Daniel, I might have a cello for you. Uh, so I opened the case, I played a couple notes, and I said, this cello is fantastic. And he says, well, do you want it? <laughs> and so, yeah, that, that's how it happened What an me. amazing story. I love it. Well, let's talk about the concert, the upcoming 13 Strings concert on May the 14th. What can people expect, Daniel? Yeah, so it's such an incredibly exciting and really well-curated uh, concert by Maestro Kevin Mallon. Um, it features uh, the CPE Bach Cello Concerto, which I'll be playing, and then a 12th century Gregorian chant uh, written by Perotin titled Widerund Omnis, which is also an arrangement by the maestro himself. And it ends with uh, Boccherini's Symphony Opus 12, number four, which actually had the title La Casa del Diablo, of course, which translates to the House of the Devil. Um, and so it's a really exciting uh, program. Uh, the composers, of course, except for Perotin, uh, who, was, who lived in the medieval uh, era, it really is on the cusp of Baroque and classical. And there is uh, a term called Sturm und Drang, which means storm and stress, which is a late 18th century artistic movement characterized by the expression of rousing action and emotional unrest. So. Uh, it's going to be super fun, oh, very no exciting. Have you yeah. have you performed with 13 Strings in the past? No, this oh will be my, my first collaboration. Okay. Yeah. Well, very exciting. Daniel, what, a, what an absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, just talking about your journey and, and how you came to have this incredible cello in your hands. And we get to see it live here in, here in Ottawa. Cannot wait to see you. Thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate the time. Thank you, Derek. Thank oh, you're you. welcome, and congratulations on all your on all your success. All right, 13 Strings, their latest concert coming up on May the 14th. As I said, it kicks off at 7:30 p.m. You can go to 13strings.ca for ticket information.